Oh, hello there. We are we are Cinderella's stepsisters. Cinderella's wicked stepsisters. Lucy. Sorry. We like to say, despite what you've heard, we were actually wicked. Well, we were a little wicked. But we didn't realize it. We thought we were helping. Remember Cinderella, the girl with the glass slippers? People said we made her do our chores and kept her from going to the ball. But then the fairy godmother came to the rescue, made her a new dress. People... uh, and then Cinderella and the prince fell in love. Blah, 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 snore. Lucy! Sorry. What my sister is trying to say is that's not re- really happened. The real story is much more interesting. Shall we? Let's. Macy and Lucy are pruning some bushes in their front yard. Suddenly, there's a ruckus. Cinderella comes flying around the side of the house on. OMG, is that a unicycle? Macy, Lucy, check it out. Her, her mouse and bird pal sit on her shoulder is holding on for dear life. Wee! Wee! I'm going to be sick. Action. Be careful. Watch out for the whoa, whoa, whoa. fertilizer. Cinderella topples off the unicycle onto a pile of stinky dirt. <laughs> that was awesome. Cindy, what are you wearing? Like it? I made it myself. She's been throwing off the bejeweled cape and matching sneakers. Uh, well. Suddenly a royal trumpet sounds. Hear he, hear he. The prince. I'm pretty sure the trumpet gave us away, George. Macy and Lucy gasp, look at Cinderella's outfit, and gasp again. (laughs) This is even worse than when the plumber came by and she was juggling Max and Sam. Or when she was playing the kazoo when the baker came to deliver the bread. Cindy, go inside and do the laundry. What? Why? You always tell me to do chores when there's someone coming. You, um, smell like fertilizer. Fine. Cinderella starts toward the front door, but ducks behind a bush when the prince and George arrive. Ladies, will you do the, me the honor of attending the Royal Ball? OMG, OMG, OMG. Your Majesty, we'd be delighted. Excellent. Until then. As the, as the Prince and George leave, Cinderella jumps out. The Royal Ball? I'll wear my new outfit and ride my unicycle. Cinderella does her happy dance. Macy and Lucy look at each other. Uh Uh-oh. The Prince and George are riding to the Royal Palace on horseback. I must say, those wicked steps ladies weren't nearly as troublesome as I expected. With all due respect, sir, they would never be mean to you. I am a decent judge of character, George. I can tell if people are mean. I hear they force their stepsister to do chores while they sit around eating chocolates. That would indeed be gasty. But we mustn't believe rumors. Of course, Your Majesty. That night, Lucy and Macy sew their dresses for the ball. If Cindy wears that outfit, she'll be a laughingstock, and so we, 
and so will we. Everyone will talk about us. Macy ponders for a moment. Then we'll hide the outfit and the unicycle. She'll be so upset if she finds out. It's for her own good, Lucy and ours. Stepsisters tone to Cinderella's room where she's fast asleep. The stepsisters tiptoe into Cinderella's room where she's fast asleep. Shh. Get the outfit. I'll grab the unicycle. Cinderella begins to stir. Shh, hurry. The stepsisters scurry away. The next night, Cinderella waves to her stepsisters as they climb into their carriage. Don't worry about me. I'm sure I'll find my stuff. I'll meet you, just make you there later. Lucy and Macy shift uneasily in their seats. Cindy. We've got to go, we're late already. Cinderella tears through the house. Max, Sam, help me find my... All of a sudden, there's a loud pop! The fairy godmother arrives in a shower of glitter, live streaming on fairy ground. Grammars, I'm here with Rella, ready to, ready to make her dreams come true. My what now? Forget your cape, honey. I'll make you an outfit everyone will love. The fairy godmother snaps her fingers. A gold dress and tiny glass slippers appear out of thin air. Wow, but um, that outfit isn't me. Also, it looks super uncomfortable. Fashion is pain, honey. It'll be worth it. Just be home by midnight or the dress and shoes will vanish. Fun, right? Um, I... What do you have to lose? The circulation in her feet. I guess I'd rather go to the ball in that dress than not go at all. She's in. Like and subscribe, Grammars. Like and subscribe. The ballroom in the Royal Palace is full of people promenading in their finest clothing. Everyone looks so proper and serious and... So boring. I miss Cindy unicycle and all. Actually, her unicycle would make the party a lot more fun. We should go back. We, we should go back in. A guest waves at the stepsisters. Where is Cinderella this evening? At that moment, the royal tournament sounds. Announcing Cinderella. Cinderella enters in her lovely gold dress limping. She hobbles over to a chair. She looks miserable. What's up with that dress? She doesn't even look like herself. And she's sitting? Instead of dancing, talking, and goofing, we must fix this. Macy spots Max and Sam sneaking in through an open window. Cinderella and the prince have been dancing for an hour. It's not going well. It's a pleasure to meet you. Yes, I ow, have to ow. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm usually a great dancer. No, it's not you. It's my shoes. I wanted to wear these fantastic... Suddenly, the clock strikes midnight! Uh, oh no, I have to go, like now. Cinderella kicks off the glass slippers and runs out of the ballroom. 
right into Baxter Sam, struggling to carry her cape, sneakers, and unicycle. <laughs> you found my stuff! Hurry! Max and Sam help her change the clock, finishes chiming. Pop, the gold dress vanishes. Now go have fun. Now go have fun. I can't, I can't. I have a feeling Lucy and Macy hate this outfit. In fact, I'm starting to think they hid it from me. But you love it. I don't want to embarrass them. Just then, Lucy and Macy appear. We're the ones that should be embarrassed, Cindy. We were so concerned about what everyone would say if they saw your outfit and unicycle. And, well, they're talking about us anyway. We want you to be you. That's why we told Max and Sam to go get your stuff. Sorry for our foolishness, Sydney. All is forgiven. The royal trumpet sounds again. Do -do 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 -do. George, give it a rest. There you are. Uh, is that a unicycle? I've always wanted to try one of those. My father doesn't think it's proper for a prince. Cinderella, Lucy, and Macy look at each other and start laughing. Will you teach me? Totally. Nice outfit, by the way. As Cinderella hops on her unicycle, the fairy godmother arrives. You're seeing it here first, Grammars. Rella in the Royal Unicycle Lesson. And look at that cape. Magnificent. Like and subscribe. So, so now you see, we were not so wicked after all. We just had to learn a lesson. Which we hope you'll remember next time you're concerned about what people think. We like this version of Cinderella a lot better. Do you?